All right, so let's talk about um, modding and how you get started modding for NBA 2K20. Um, right now, I have it up on PC. Let's, as you can see, the program is up. So I'm going to try to explain everything as simple as possible. Follow along. Go back if you need to. All right, this link is in the description. You'll need to go to this page. Open this up in a new tab. And in the bottom right-hand corner, you can click Download. This is going to be the modded folder. Now here it says, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, but it, I think it says Wegua. I know it's pronounced differently, but Wegua. This is basically the Chinese version of the modded folder. So in the future, if you ever hear anyone say install files into the modded folder, this is the same folder. Okay. So what you want to do is click on download, which I've already clicked. So I have it here. And you want to extract the file. All right. So it created three new files here. All you have to do is take those three files, the folder and these other two, just take those and drag them into your NBA 2K20 directory. So let's see. NBA 2K20 directory should look something like this. A bunch of bunch of files and an NBA 2K20 EXE file at the very bottom. If you guys are not sure how to get to this, yours is probably in uh, Drive C, Steam, then Steam Apps, then Common, then NBA 2K20. If you don't know how to find this, you're going to have to do that part on your own. You need to be able to find this directory or folder. I'll go out of it, show you what it looks like. These are all my Steam games, which is just NBA 2Ks. So I click on 2K20, and I'm inside this folder. All right. So all I have to do is drag over these three files. Just drag them over. Let them place themselves. That's fine. And at the top, I've got a folder that says like Google. And like I said, some people will have a version that says modded, but this is the exact same thing. All you have to do now is download mods and place them in this folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to find a mod if I can. All right, we've got this James Harden. And so what I'm going to do is install this James Harden, if it's even available. Not sure if it's available. All right, it's released here. So we're going to click. Now, there are different websites to get mods. All right, it's downloading. So while that's downloading, I'm going to go ahead and delete these three files from my downloaded folder i don't need them anymore so just delete those i can delete this all right my james harden file is here and it is now downloaded so i'm going to click extract here and it has all of these little white files i need all of those I need to drag all of those inside of the Wegua folder. So let me go back to my 2K20 folder right here. The Wegua folder that we just installed for mods. I'm going to double click it. I'm going to drag all these white files over here. All the PNG files relate to 3D stuff. And then this face is the facial texture. It says all right, so now, now when we go to NBA, uh, when we go to James Harden within the game, let me find my controller. Let's go. We got to go to create a roster. And we can use any roster. 
We just want to look and make sure. I'm going to go over to. Oops. Go over to the Houston Rockets. Oops. All right. Go to edit player. And it should be a modded James Harden cyber face. And it is not. I am more than sure this is. <clears throat> yeah, it's still the default James Harden. I think. <clears throat> I'm glad this happened. So I think what I need to do, actually, I forgot about this. I installed that folder. With the game on, I installed the little modded or Wegua folder with the game on. So what I have to do is, I should have installed it while the game was off. So now I'm restarting the game. And I'm going to wait for it to come up. So this photo here shows me what, what the James Harden face should look like, actually. And that's not what it looked like. So this is a good, uh, it's a good video because we ran into an issue that many people would have ran into. All right, we're just waiting, waiting. <laughs> Hopefully, we get it. Just waiting for the 2K20 program to start up. All right, there it is. And this time when we look at the James Harden cyberface, it should definitely be different now. All right, so once we, uh, we're gonna get in game here and go back to the rosters and try to take a look at this James Harden once again. Hopefully everything works out. Alright, let's see what we can do. I'm not I'm gonna go over to the Rockets. Now the modded face should come up. There we go. We got it. We got it, guys. So if your mods are not working and you've installed everything correctly, make sure you just restart the game, guys. Hopefully, if you had issues, you stuck with me through this far in the video. This is the modded cyber face, okay? You can tell it looks much better um, as far as the texture. His eyes are a little bigger, nose a little wider. This is pretty dope. I like it. And one thing I like to do to make sure the, uh, let's go animations. I like to go to the animations and make sure the, uh, facial animations work by going to this donkey motion. Okay. So the eyes are not glitching. Nope. They're not popping out of his head or anything like that. So that's good. That's one thing I always test out. All right, guys, this has been my tutorial. I hope this works for you. Uh, give the video a like. Now do, well, I'll go over that stuff in another video. All right, guys, 